Do you think physicians are being paid adequately in Medicare and Medicaid? Uh, we believe, uh, Mr. Camp, that in the aggregate, there is more than enough money in the Medicare payment system to pay physicians adequately. We do think that the money is not properly allocated at this point. We so think they're not receiving an adequate amount? We think that some physicians should be increased in their payment and some services should be reduced in their payment. Uh, clearly, Medicare pays less than most uh, private insurers. Uh, we uh, don't believe that the Medicare payment rates are inadequate. Uh, we believe that in many instances, private insurance payment levels are too high. Uh, fear is that overly generous private payment is in fact increasing uh, costs for the Medicare program. And we see evidence of that in two types of data, Mr. Camp. Uh, first of all, if you look at the relationship between private payment levels to hospitals and Medicare margins over time, you say eras of high private uh, payment levels result in low Medicare margins. In addition, if you look at a cross-section of hospitals, we see evidence that hospitals that are under significant financial pressure because they don't have generous private payment are able to reduce yeah. their costs and do so in a way consistent with high quality. Well, let me ask this another way. Are the private payments overly generous, as you say, private insurance payments, to compensate for the lack of payments in Medicare? If, uh, in your just, opinion, let, let's just talk about many witnesses have testified that's the case. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, that dynamic between, uh, say, a hospital and a private payer. Uh, if a hospital is able to dictate rates to a private insurer, as the cost shifting model assumes, they can only do that if they've got leverage in that negotiation, if they have market power. Uh, so that the private payer can't just walk away. They're compelled to pay this higher rate. What are the policy implications of that market power? If the hospital has that market power, there's no reason for us to believe that an increase in Medicare rates would be followed by a reduction in rates for private payers. If they've got the market power, they'll use it after the increase in Medicare rates just as they used it before. Isn't it isn't it possible, I guess, I still don't have an answer to my question, that physicians and hospitals are demanding higher prices because they have to offset the underpayments in Medicare? Uh, again, if they have the ability to compel private payers to pay more, there is no reason to believe that if Medicare were to reduce or increase its rates, that they would reduce the amount they charge to private payers. They have market power. They have leverage in the negotiation. For-profit hospitals exist to maximize profits. Not-for-profit hospitals exist to maximize revenue so they can provide more services.